Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and we're back in SnowRunner Phase 4, and <laughs> this crazy map, man. So, uh, I've been seeing so many people um, really having an issue getting to the warehouse and getting to the steel mill on this first map that I thought I would just take a video to show you guys how I got there and how you can get there if you don't have the bridge made. So, let's go to the map first of all. Wrong button. Okay, and I have it all mapped out here. So, we're here at the garage. So at the garage, you're going to take a left, you're going to go all the way around here, and you're going to get on the ice. You're going to cross here, you're going to go all the way down the ice, down here, and cross again here. Go all the way through here, up here, and there's the warehouse. And I actually have one of the bridges made finally. If Again, if you see my last video, we did manage to get this bridge done, but the bridge to the sawmill is still out. So, this is the area of contention right here, because when you first start on this map, both these bridges are out, and it looks like there is absolutely no way to get to this warehouse, but, in fact, there is. Um, so, you need service spare parts, and they're at the warehouse, so, very tricky on Sabre part, very tricky. Now, another thing that I've seen people say that uh, <clears throat> it, it's hard to get through with the truck, so what I have here is I have... The Pacific P512, this was the DLC truck that came with, oh, I want to say, I want to say Wisconsin. So we're going to take this, and we're going to take this along the route <clears throat> to see how it handles in. Wait a minute, I have to, hold on, I have to check out something here. Give me one second, guys. Okay, so that's right, this, uh, this doesn't have all-wheel drive, so this should be interesting. But we'll see if we can make it with this. If we can't make it with this, guys, we'll, uh, well, we'll do some magical editing and just skip the part. Because I don't want this video to be too long. I just want to show you guys how to get to both these areas. So technically, this is a DLC truck, but it's not a modded truck. It is just a vanilla truck. There's nothing special about it. It doesn't have OP wheels. It doesn't have, you know... OP anything actually not even an OP gearbox <clears throat> so it'll be interesting to see if we can do this and the only other thing I really want to show you guys is when you get out on the ice the only tricky part is avoiding the ice that can break so what I want to do is uh, I want to show you guys how to avoid that so what I may do is I may just speed this part up until we get to the ice. Alright, so here we are on the ice, and honestly guys, it didn't do it that bad. Now, if you're looking for a vehicle that can go through these areas faster, I would suggest a mod. And now see, right, right there, you have to be careful of this ice here. Um... I've never really broken through there, so that's a little interesting. But anyway, this is your first crossing. But yeah, if you want to get through it a little faster, I would recommend using the IX Heavy Wrecker or the IX Quad Steer. Okay, so now that we got over here... Just keep... Whoops. Don't do that. <coughs> Pardon me, guys, but um, you want to stay pretty much close to the shoreline. You don't want to go out in any of those areas over there. Because they will break up and you could get stuck very easily. But yeah, so you just go through the stuff and be careful going over those jagged pieces. They can't hurt your truck. Got a little bit of crack in there, but we're all right. Okay, now this was just a little bit tricky because there's a little gap, and depending on the truck you have, it may take a little bit of damage, so just take it slow. Okay, but this one is okay. Now, guys, this truck doesn't have all-wheel drive. Keep that in mind. So 
So you want to stay to this edge here. And now, I am going to put it in low gear and put the diff lock on just because I, I don't think it'll be able to get up this snow without it. Considering it doesn't have all-wheel drive. I mean, it might be able to, but there's no, no real reason to risk that. So, okay, guys, this map, it's slow going. It just, it's slow going. There's no real fast way around anything. It's either do you want to take a treacherous path and get there a little quicker, or do you want to take a little more time and get there safely? And another thing I'm going to talk about very shortly is rollovers and tipping your truck over because, trust me, guys, I have done it so many times, and it's very avoidable. The only reason why I tip the trucks over is because stupid mistakes on my part. It's very avoidable. Take your time, look at the road, watch where you're going, and you won't tip. But as you can see, we are at the warehouse. Now, another thing I want to say, guys, really quick, is that to get those bridges, you need the uh, steel beams, metal beams. They're called metal beams, but now, the metal beams, I'm going to save you a big trip, okay? Because the metal beams are, let's see here, the metal beams are up here, but as you can see, this says steel mill. So, there are no metal beams up here. You have to craft the metal beams. So, do not go all the way up here expecting metal beams up there. You have to actually get metal rolls from the warehouse and bring metal rolls up there to craft them. Now, you need two metal rolls to craft one steel beam. So, you're going to need four metal rolls to make enough uh, metal beams to, to do this one bridge. So keep that in mind because that's what I did. I went all the way up there and didn't realize I had to craft them and had to come all the way back to get the metal rolls to uh, to craft the metal beams. So, Okay, with that being done, now we're going to cut and I'm going to show you the route I take for the, uh, the steel mill. All right, guys, so to get to the uh, steel mill, let's take a look at the map real quick. Okay, so what you want to do is the warehouse is here, right? So you want to go back to the same way you got here. I'm going to go down here. Go down here. Cross over there. Cross back over here. And again, you're going to come down here. Kind of hug the shoreline where you see the rocks, right? Then you're going to come up here. And this is, this is a little bit of a tricky part. So I will show you guys this. So you want to come up here. Now, there's two ways you could go. You can either continue up this road here. And this is a rather treacherous road. Go all the way up in here, around here. Uh, this is a lookout. <clears throat> Come down here, and then you're at the warehouse. Now, seemingly, this seems like the quicker route. But this is a very tippy route. And it's not the easiest. So, what I do, I go down here. And I go down along the ice, all the way down up to here. Then I catch this road here, come down here. Then there's another road that I catch here. Go across this ice, over to this road, all the way down here. Then we're going to make a turn here. And this road will bring you all the way to it. So again, is it quicker? Not really. But then again, maybe, because you could go, you could drive faster on the ice. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this route, shall we? And again, this here, this is probably the trickiest part of going this way. These rocks, man, these rocks are horrible. Okay, this is just because... I picked a vehicle that doesn't have all-wheel drive capabilities, but that's okay, because, I mean, if we can do it with this, if we can get there with this, 
then it's not going to be a big deal. Well, see, as you can see right here, this is very uneven, so you have to take it easy. And let's uh, let's put the diff lock on here. This truck may not be able to do it. This truck just may not be able to do it. If we could just get it to grip, I think she will. Like I say, guys, if we could do it with this truck, then, you know, we're set. Can I catch that? As soon as I catch that, there we go, that winch point, I'll catch it. Because there's no shame in using the winch. Not at all. All right. Now you're going to go up over here. And again, you know, you got to watch for rocks and stuff like that. It's all, you can prevent yourself from tipping over. You just got to pay attention and take your time. And like I say, that's one thing that I don't normally do. If I actually concentrate on it, though, I can achieve it. <laughs> and yeah, guys, it's, it's a bit slow going, but like I definitely want to show you guys. Now, this is another area where if you don't be careful, you can tip. And what I'm... Hmm. Okay, this truck is just not cutting it. It won't even... Okay, this truck is just not cut out for this at all. Okay, so that's not ideal, but you know what? It's okay because, again, we figured it out, and we still managed to do something. Wow, this truck is horrible. Come on. These loose rocks, man, they are rough. Like, Sabre Interactive, come on. Why can't we get out of our truck and just move those out of the way? Alright. So now that we're on the ice, and this truck doesn't have snow tire options either. So I am using probably the worst possible vehicle you could to show you guys this. But again... It's okay, because if I can do it with this truck, then damn it, you guys can do it with a truck with all-wheel drive. All right. So these rocks, again, will probably pose our biggest problem. So try to steer clear of the bigger ones. With this truck, anyway. Whatever truck you guys are using, it's going to be a lot better than this. Come on. So see that there? Like just that little bit, even though that, that tree broke, just that little bit helped us. 
And so, yeah, guys, the, the snow in this map is deep. There's usually mud underneath the snow. Lots of times you'll break through into swampy areas. It is a really challenging map. There's no question about it. But like I say, it's not impossible. You know, I know it's easy to get discouraged. But again, I kind of feel like, you know, if you're the type of person that's looking for a really fast-paced game, man, SnowRunner is just not that game. So we're definitely going to have to use the winch with this truck because it's just, you know, like I say, the worst truck I could have used for this. And we're going to try to avoid that mud. If we can. I don't think we can. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, get that traction. Get that traction, baby. Very slow going. But again, I don't really want to edit this out because I want you guys to see that it is doable. At least I think it's doable. Let's put it that way. I'm not I'm not there yet, am I? <laughs> we'll uh we'll have to wait and see for the final result. And apparently I missed that last waypoint. Good thing I know where I'm going. Okay, now we're in some deep snow, so this is going to be a big test. If I can get over to this area, we should be good. It'll give us some traction. Come on. You got to just keep getting to the next spot. Like I say, guys, if you had a truck with all-wheel drive... Oh, and this is going to kill me. If you had a truck with all-wheel drive and snow tires, <laughs> you're going to do a lot better. Okay, so this is going to be difficult, but luckily... You have these down trees. And this truck, it just, it doesn't like those rocks for anything, man. It really doesn't. So, what I'm going to do is try my damnedest to expertly avoid the bad situations here. And now we have to go between those two those two rock structures over there anyway. Now originally I went this route in the uh the twin steer blue line, which is my preferred twin steer to use. Like I say, if you really want to go super OP, then I would suggest using the IX quad steer. That thing is just crazy. Probably the most OP truck in the game. Now what are we stuck on? Come on. So see, that tree would have broke, but it doesn't matter. All we needed was that little bit. Now this tree here, this is probably going to pose a problem. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that is strange. Alright, so there's absolutely nothing we can do about that. That just, the game just went all kinds of crazy, man, and totally glitched out. I'm glad I got that on camera, though, so, yeah, the only thing we can really do with this is recover back to the garage. Which is okay because I don't, I'm not using this truck anyway. But anyway, guys, 
Like, we were literally... What were we? We were, like, right here. You know, so... We didn't have that much further to go. But like I say, if it wouldn't have glitched out like that, which that was really strange, I don't know what happened there, um, we would have been able to get here fine because once you get to these roads, these roads really aren't that bad. And that is your destination. And again, like I say, if you really want to do it a different way and risk rolling over, then you would take this route here, go down this road, all the way down to here and catch this. Um, and then also... There's, like, landslides that have to be cleared. There's the bridge to the island, bridge to the town. Oh, man, that, that's two bridges right there. There's a lot of bridges, so it, it's a lot of mess around, guys. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helped you. I hope it helps you get to these areas a little easier. And like I say, don't, don't judge that trip because I was using a truck that was just super terrible for the job. And like I say, if I made it that far with that truck, then you could easily make it all the way with a truck that has all-wheel drive and the proper snow tires. So anyway, guys, if you liked it, leave me a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.